welcome back to the channel guys it is me 80 sum of four four so today guys i want to talk to you guys about almeria versus barcelona in la liga guys in la liga so i'm gonna give you guys my match review now i'm recording this really early i'm even recording this before the squad list is out for the game um like i said guys i just won't have enough time tomorrow so i need to pre-record this and get you guys the video so by the time you guys are seeing this um some of the players may already be in the squad that i don't know of and so on and so forth so obviously barcelona's come off the defeat of the europa league to manchester united and obviously there's a lot of question marks over xavi there's a lot of a lot of uh, people a lot of fans have lost their confidence with the xavi i will do a video on my whole situation with xavi probably on monday or tuesday i just can't really do it either t tomorrow or sunday just because like i said i'm just really busy at the moment so i'll try to get it out for you guys probably on tuesday i'll try my best to get it before the tuesday game I mean, before Tuesday, okay? So I expected either on Monday or Tuesday. Anyways, getting back to this game. I think the important thing for Barca is we have to keep, we have to put things aside. Europa League is done, and maybe it's a blessing for us. Now we can put everything for the league, and now we have to put everything. Because like I said before, guys, this game is very important for the league. As well as the fact that the next game afterwards, guys, is Real Madrid. Yes, guys, we're playing Real Madrid next Thursday already. Like, it's coming again that soon, you know? And I think for Barca, coming into this game, as far as injuries are concerned, Ousmane Dembele will probably not play this game. I don't think he's going to be available for this game. And I did hear a report stating that Ansu Fati, earlier today, could be injured for this game, which is interesting. Obviously, Pedri is still injured, as we know. Uh, Gavi will be back for suspension, so that there's no worry with that. So Gavi will be available, which is a really, really good positive sign. Obviously, Busquets is back, as we know. So I think the injured players for right now, as I know, are Pedri, Dembele, and potentially Fati. I will have to see tomorrow in the official squad list if he makes it or not. Because if he does make the squad list, that'll be huge. Huge, huge, huge. Okay. Now, coming to this game, um, let's go look at the insights coming into this game. Right. So, Barcelona, Almeria winless in the last 13 games against Barcelona La Liga. Can see three goals per game on average. They have faced the Al Azglarins more times by winning the top flight than any of their opponent. Barca won four and drawn two of the last six visits to Almeria in La Liga, scoring exactly two goals each. For these five matches, Barcelona beat the last ten away la, last ten away games against Andalusian sides in La Liga, winning each of the last four, including all six under Xavi Hernandez. Um, Almeria conceded six goals in the last game in La Liga, six two defeat to Girona. What this the fifth time they've done so in the top flight. They have won just one of the last eight matches of competition. Barca won their last seven games in La Liga, could win eight in a row in the competition for the first time since January 2019 under Ernesto Valverde. And of course, the stadium is the Estadio Mediterraneo. The stats coming into this game, one probability is Barca is expected to win at 67%, draws 19%, and Almer is 14%. So as I said, guys, this is going to be very, very interesting coming into this game and see what's going to happen. So this is 11 that I hope Xavi puts out, okay? Um, goalkeeper, actually, before we even talk about, well, actually, yeah, you know what? I'll do my 11, and then we'll talk about Almer players to look out for. Goalkeeper for me, obviously, is going to be Ter Stegen. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. Right back's obviously going to be uh, Jules Kunde. Um, I could see maybe Xavi rotate Jules Kunde and maybe use Roberto potentially at right back. Although he did play midweek against United, so we'll have to wait and see. Center backs obviously is going to, to be Christensen and um, Araujo, obviously. Left back is going to be Alejandro Balde, our best back line. CDM, I imagine Busquets will take that center role. And then we're going to see Frankie de Jong, I think he's going to start this game. Gavi, I think, is going to start. I think Kessie will be rest of this game. He's been playing a lot recently, so I think he needs a rest. And then left wing, I'm going to say Ferran Torres. I think Ferran Torres will start this game. I did hear reports that he will start the game, especially with Fati being out. I mean, it's Ferran Torres is going to probably fill in. Strikers obviously be Lewandowski, and right wingers will be Rafinha. Almeria players to look out for, guys. Almeria is a decent team, guys. They have some good players. Um, Like I said, guys, Um, you know, their, top, their best players are probably Luis Suarez, Lazaro, Gonzalo Melero. You know, it's just the defense is not really good for this team. Sergio Akeme. Former well, Barcelona player, of course. My prediction for this game, guys, is I'm gonna go with, is gonna be a one 0 win for Barcelona, guys. I've not really been impressed with Barcelona when it comes to La Liga. We haven't really been that good. We've kind of done the bare minimum, and I do feel as though we're gonna barely scratch by this game. And I'm gonna say we win this game one 0 Hopefully, we can score more goals. And I have the feeling the goal will probably come in the second half, courtesy of a Lewandowski goal. Um, and hopefully he can score because he needs to improve his scoring because his scoring. His goal scoring has been really dry recently. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the comments below. Where you guys be new on considering that subscribe button. Hit the like button as well.
I'm going to blow your thoughts. And I will see if I could do a live match reaction for the game. I'm not sure if I can. If I can, I'll definitely do it. If I can't, I won't be able to do it. Or what I will, I might end up doing is maybe do later that day. I have no idea. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. So I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.